Hey guys and gals, Malkuth1974, back at you with another satisfactory episode. Today we are in the actual release version of it, um, the alpha release version I should say, or the, the early release version of it. And there's a few things that I have noticed that have changed so far that we're going to cover here in a, in a little bit. And let's see... Uh, not much else. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of still looking around at things that have changed, but um, one of the things I want to show you is that, look, they now give you uh, your total amount of uh, megawatts you have plus your current use of what, what you're actually using. So they're giving you both numbers now. That was something I really missed, I really wanted from the Alpha Weekend. Uh, the other thing that happens is that if you overload your system, uh, you have to do a little bit changes and I'll show you that in a second all right so I'm back and I have disconnected a couple of my refinery my uh, coal refineries here and I have uh, basically uh, killed overpowered my whole system so if you kind of look around down there you can see some red uh, running you can see some red lights blinking that means my whole system is down so all you have to do to reset your system now is to open this and now you have a circuit breaker that you have to trip back. Now I think this is the coolest thing but let's show you here. And it automatically tripped automatically because I don't have enough power to run my whole uh, base right now. So what we have to do is I have to rehook these back up. There we go. Now this time when we do this, we should be all set. And there we go. And as you can tell, I, I do have quite a buffer there for well, I won't be able, I won't be having too many issues. Cool. Alright. Uh, let me go and check here. Yeah, so I mean it's cool. I do like that new feature. I do think the circuit breaker thing is kind of a cool idea. So let's come down this way and let's look at some of the research that we can do now if I don't get lost in my own base here there we go there we are so four so this tier is unlocked I don't know why it's unlocked I don't, I don't remember well maybe I did unlock it because technically unlock three and four but yeah these are all the different tiers which is cool uh, the different things we can unlock now, like the, the bigger storage, uh, the Mark III conveyor belts. And over here, I do we do have this too. This is something I want to uh, look at. This is new that we didn't have before. Uh, but this little medical bottle here. And let's see what we need. We can do this, yeah. There we go. And I need... That'll work. There we go. So, there we go. Our first thing we are unlocking now. So now we can make those medical things. And this thing will take off. That should be... We should be able to make that over here. Let's take a look. Yeah, there we go. Hmm, I don't know what that is. Huh. And oh, we have one of those. I have some of those. I'll show you guys that in a minute. And we have some of those. Uh, the mushroom things, or the... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. But the mushroom things, uh, we can get over this way. Uh, no, actually, nope. <laughs> okay, I'm getting lost in my own base. We're on the other side we have to go. We have to go to where the new expansion is that I showed you in the last video of the base... of our base video. So... Over here, there's a cave, and that's where you can get the mushrooms for helping you make that medical thing. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm on the other side now, and this is the cave. I'm kind of moving around too quick here. So, let's uh, go in a little bit. You don't have to go too deep, but do remember that caves can have spiders. I don't think I don't I haven't met any spiders in this particular cave but okay here they are so we'll just grab a few of them just I, I have a bunch of them anyway but yeah so if you can find caves that's where you can find these things come back up through here 
Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. Well, that's new, so they never said that before in the weekend test, so that's something new they've added. That's good to know. Let's head this way. And, you know, I haven't actually noticed if there's how much more new stuff there is because I really haven't had time to play today. So, I mean, I won't be able to make a hugely long video today, just kind of showcasing. But let's head over to the space elevator and see what we need for this for tiers 5 and 6, which is also unlocked frames and motors. Motors. I'm not quite sure why it's showing that I have 50 motors. I've never, I don't think I've, well, maybe I did put some motors in. Where did I get the motors from, though? Hmm. It's been a while since I played the weekend game, so. When did I find, I probably found them somewhere. I know you can find things everywhere every once in a while, but yeah, it says I've already put 50 motors in here, so. Well, I guess that's a good start. Well, so. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to take too much to unlock that tier 5 and 6. Of course, that's only to get the the research. Then you have to still unlock the research over here. So we go into here. So we're at 4. So let's unlock this. Let's do the, th the things we need to get this done. And we'll go grab some stuff because I do want to unlock steel. Steel is a whole new thing where we're going to have to mix coal and we're going to have to mix... Uh, yeah, okay. I'm just making sure I got everything here. There we go. Uh, coal and actual iron ore. Not iron plates, but iron ore. So, or iron ingots. So, uh, that's something we'll have to do. That also will unlock a new, uh, a new drill for us. An automated drill for uh, the ore patches itself. So, that ought to... That ought to give us some more cool stuff. I'm just going to get rid of this thing because I hate having stuff in my inventory. And, it's, and the one thing, you know, that's kind of weird about Satisfactory is the fact that everything is unlimited. Like, all your ore resources are unlimited. All your coal is unlimited. So, um, it's not like you, you're limited in what you get. So, I'm just going to keep grabbing some of this stuff here. Trying to get through. Yeah, I tried to, I tried to kind of bunch as much stuff together as I could, you know, kind of make it as close as I can, which sometimes doesn't equal great uh, area of movement to get through. But we do need to make some more of these frames. And what am I missing? Oh, I need, I need uh, tubes. I can't and I can't make tubes because I don't have ingots. All right, so I'm gonna grab some tubes. There we are. Grab some more. Uh, come back. I hate that we have to jump over this every time. I've gotten so used to it though that I just kind of do it naturally. There we go. Start building a bunch of these frames. I do not have frames automated yet, so I still have to make these by hand. So the next thing we'll have to automate is... I don't even know if we have to automate the frames or not, because it doesn't seem like... Well, 500 is quite a bit, so... To do for the elevator. Let's see. What am I missing? I'm missing anything. Okay, here we go. Get that in there. And cables. There we go. So this is going to unlock steel for us. Milestone reached. Steel production unlocked. Foundry and improved miner included to ensure efficiency of new pipelines. A collection of new, more complex parts is now available for crafting. There we go. 
So that'll take off. So now we can do steel. Now we can have the, the better drills, the automated drills like we have on our patches right now. We got Mark IIs we can do now. Let's see what else we can do here. Yeah, so steel takes... Yeah, there you go. So, uh, coal and uh, iron ores, like I said. We can make these. A lot of new stuff. A lot of complicated stuff. Motors. And, whoa, now. So these new frames take four resources. So that must mean we're going to need a new machine to do that. Yeah. So it's the only one out of all the steel stuff that seems to take that. Wow, okay, so that's that's going to be a different kind of automation then. Hmm. wonder what that's going to be. Odd. Alright. Wow. So it definitely gets a little... I mean, it, you definitely need a lot of space right now to do all of this. So that's crazy. Uh, so well, one last thing I want to talk about before I leave this episode is that I do want to move all of these uh, power coal power or refineries down that way because I just want to make more room over here for I can do more expansion on that I also kind of want to move the space elevator too but uh, these things right here they're expensive as hell to run uh, they actually cost you 20 megawatts to run usually when they're loading up the thing so they usually give you a good pretty good power spike which uh, was something that was happening to me earlier when I first started uh, seeing the differences here and the power spikes would uh, would kill my refinery system down there that's my little uh, where where we're picking up all of the coal from so I figured why not just put all the power down there it'll all run because I got two I got two factories down there or refineries down there so I have five here two more down there so that's seven so yeah, it would be nice to get that change. But until next time, guys, this is Malkuth1974. We'll see you later. Malkuth, out.